ever had one of those days where you just... I think everyone has this. Just, you know, you wake up. It's like, ah, oh, I'm going to have such a productive day. And eat, like, breakfast or lunch or something like that. And then it hits you. Where all you want to do is just be lazy. Don't do anything. Don't even be productive. And as a person that constantly needs to be productive it just feels weird but at the same time it's like I know I want to do stuff today but in my brain I shouldn't <laughs> well, it's like yeah it's kind of one of those days for me right now it's like man all I want to do is just be lazy as shit well, it looks like I'm it's like I'm gonna do this one now Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The mm. biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. Take care of yourself. Guess I'll do that one. Thank you, Eivor. I think we know exactly who it is. Because the guy that has the shadiest past usually is the suspect. And his bakery's thriving. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if. I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle boat. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarben, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarben? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. Okay. Should probably calm a horse. Oh, don't get on the horse right away. Hmm. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. So you know where they are. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we're spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Would they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. 
Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to... True lavender fields. ...to see some value in you. Is that lavender? Uh, or in nah, it doesn't look like it. Persuasion. <clears throat> Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. from you now they'll want me back they'll want me to be the man they think i am monstrous and massive wilf and them were the only family i had then but their love was conditioned wilf only loves what he owed so what do you intend i know i won't go back i don't want more blood on my hands but apart from that it's hard to say who knows what they have in mind So we're traveling quite the distance in order to get this done. house there they're likely within it won't look like much Eivor but don't be fooled and don't take Wilf lightly charming as he seems the man is a serpent I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes I know I know only a warning let's go inside okay okay My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message, and you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. 
God go with you, Eivor. What an ass. You found it! I oh, did. I already found bring it. This back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. That was the quickest one I've ever done. This is the sort of work you often did. Oh, they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tob in the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. <laughs> How's that guy going? I'm gonna get my horse. I guess he has to get his horse. Satisfied. Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Abel. <laughs> I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Gutler. the worst when I heard my old moniker Guthman. Hadn't heard it in years. It wretches up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, <clears throat> took me in, and told me who I was. That's how you make a gang. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. <sighs> Greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. It is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. You think Tekla will be upset with me when she learns why she was robbed? She's a kind enough woman, and she has faced greater danger than a few thieves. I suppose you don't build a clan of warriors without seeing your share of danger? Attention, you know. The moment I first saw you, I knew there was something special about you. Aw, you know oh, shucks. I see it in your eyes, having witnessed its absence in so many. You see a problem and you solve it. For you know it is better to see it done than to let it fester. The curse of leadership, I suppose. A calling can feel like a curse, but you wear yours well. Here's Chewy. Ah, it's good to be home again. That is... If I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tyrobin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And yours nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. 
Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And level up. Alright, I think at this point I'm just gonna let the fates decide where the points lead. Alright, there's no more interruptions when it comes to the main story. I'm gonna hit up our next deal. Ooh, first though. Just in case we're short on a little bit of muns. What have you got for me today? We've got to find a new home for these. A little bit. Done shopping for the day? Yes, ma'am. I'm off. Be well, friend. Until next time, Eivor. Alright, I did your thing, lady. Guess you have nothing to say about it, so that's good enough for me. What did them be, Eivor? How do you feel, Eivor? I... I would rather not talk about it. I understand. Hmm. I want to see the Alliance map. I guess in a small way, she kind of looks like... Cassandra. Oh, there's so many to do. I don't know which one I should do first. Well, these two are going to be a little later. I could either do Lincolnshire, I could do Essex, or I could do Sussex. Well, let's kind of round this out and do Essex, then we'll do Sussex, and then we'll do Lincolnshire, and I think the next one after that will be Jor Jorvik? Yeah, Jorvik. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. We will do it then. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. To Essex we go. I think before we hit up Essex, might be a few things we need to knock out. Well, hmm. I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll un unveil the map, or, or, hmm, could knock out that last raid, since it is kind of lingering on us. So maybe we'll do that. I need to get rid of that other. Where is it? There it is. Let's go on our longboat and, uh... Try and get there. Do, do, do. Leave no raid unraided. Oh, by the way, I need to customize my army. Some of my... You almost right. Viking? Bring out my lieutenant. This is what he looks like right now, but let's see. So that's that. Huntsman. Raven Clan. Hmm. I should probably go through them all. So we'll go to the Magister's stuff and see what the Magister's stuff looks like. Magister's mask. Okay, so yeah, the Magister's stuff looks kind of more stealthy. Let's do Huntsman. 
Eh, I think it depends on the helmet. I could. Wait, we have two. <laughs> Got two levels of that. No, he could probably look like me. You know, the probably the same armor, but just in male form. Wait, can he not wear the mail? Can he not wear that armor? Oh, apparently not. Uh, That. Might give him like a predator bow, but I'm trying to remember which one was the predator bow. As far as that, you can usually tell. Just give him that. Oh, you know what? I am missing one. Like, uh. I think I am missing, like, one thing. And that is, uh. The Brigadine's, uh. stuff. Let's see. Oh, let's give him that. Then mm. sure that worked. That was looking good. Alright, leaving will oh I don't wanna oh I guess I have to just assign. Let's manage my crew. So I haven't actually done that yet. So we're gonna have Erna. I'll keep her. I have we can have some of these other dudes. There's the community stuff. Whoa, that guy looks weird. Looks good to me. I'll see you later, friend. It's like, it's not, looks like my Yams Viking hasn't really uh, gotten any goods, though. Look at how they all left the boat now. Look, look we got work to do, fellers. Through the waves. Can't raise the sail yet. This might take a little bit. More sail. Due to the fact that this playthrough is already long enough as is, I don't think I need to extend it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll fast travel to this port and then just do that. This playthrough's already long enough. I don't need to extend it by traveling long long distances on our longboat. To the Swan Road. Run up the Let's have a song. Generous 
You made sure I've already. Yeah, we already rated that. Oh yeah, this was the port that had that chain. Another port that has a chain. Another port. Man, we're real close to leveling up again. Find another one of those. Oh, speaking of. Uh, that doesn't count as one. Dang. That looks like. Our destination to raid. Doo, doo, doo. Come on, turn just a little bit. There we go. Casually just stroll up. It's like a drive by. The water was a little bit more deeper than we wanted it to. Sneak in from underneath. Oh, they won't know what the hell's gonna hit him. didn't switch my spear. the other one. Give me a hand over now here. This is for This one's gonna be in here. Give me a hand. Let's do it before they uh, 
shoot at me. Huzzah! We should uh, clean up the rest of those uh, defenders. Any others? Looks like there's like a few more over there. I think we're in any more combat. I do want to go over here now, which will require me to get on my horse. gonna knock me off my horse. Okay, it didn't. Alright, cool. That was simple. this way yet. <laughs> Plenty of snakes apparently. Interesting that the uh, synchronization points here. Guess it's probably one of the higher areas. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that tree over there looks a little bit higher, but I'm not gonna complain. I don't have to climb a giant fucker of a building or a tree in order to do it. Alright, I think that was the last synchronization point in Kent. So now I'm going to start opening up the map here. I'm gonna travel to this port. And hopefully I can make it there by road. We shall see. We shall see. The one thing I would like to know, or, or, or we could we could probably do it by sea too. It might be faster to be on boat. But uh, the funny thing is I would like to see is maybe not do a little bit of everything while I continue the main story and by the time we beat the game like go to a synchronization point and see all the shit that we still have to do after we beat the game <laughs> if you're gonna do a completionist run let's see so that's about a little bit further away Hello there. 
Hey, it's the general. What up, dude? Uh, I don't want to raid. Alright. Yeah, no need to raid. Just got back from Comic Con. How was it? It's super good news. Oh, super good news. What's this good news? Yeah, I know San Diego Comic Con is going to be happening, I think, pretty soon. Usually happen, I think, it's San Diego Comic Con. The big, the big Comic Con usually happens, like, uh, usually this month, right? Uh, nothing beats my moments of, you know, my experience with a uh, Mad Moxie uh, cosplayer. <laughs> Oh, you got to take photos with him and got signature signatures with him. That's pretty cool. It's always nice to meet him and everything, even just for like two or three minutes. It's always good just to be able to like, you know, while you're taking photos, they're like, you know, they might ask you a question or you can ask them a question and stuff like that. It's always fun. Some of my favorite moments in Comic-Con is talking to authors and like artists. Because you're, you're able to actually talk to those guys a lot longer. I talked to Temple Smith that did the artwork for uh, uh, 30 Days a Night. And I was able to talk to him for a good, like, 5 to 10 minutes. Before I decided to, like, okay, I outstayed my welcome. <laughs> Did your funny poses and all that? Yeah, you got to got to share some of these photos and see what yeah you know, they're doing. <laughs> Definitely share the photos. Uh, how many more of these synchronizations do you think I have to do? Because we're doing the one in Essex right now. And I know there's going to be plenty more afterwards. Actually, I'm going to try and do this one over here. And then kind of work my way around to, uh... Col... Col... Colchester? I'm glad you didn't have a bad experience with, uh, actors. <laughs> Usually hearing about, like, certain, like, you know, confrontation with actors and all that while they're at Comic-Con. Most people, most of them, usually most of them that attend, like, Comic-Cons and all that, they're, they're, they're usually happy to be there. But then there are some actors where they'd rather not be anywhere else except home. <laughs> it's like, I'd just rather be home. And it's understandable because it's like, look, if you've done one, you've done them all. <laughs> Especially as a person that attends it. And once you've done one convention, you tend to like, oh, I gotta do like 10 more of these like this year. I forgot his name, but, um, like, I almost bumped into the guy that played, uh, uh, he, he's a character actor, but, um, 
the guy that plays the one dude that raised uh, uh shit I forgot his name <laughs> the the guy in uh guardians of the galaxy it's just like i'm mary poppins y'all uh, uh what was his name I forgot his name i almost but i almost actually ran into him <laughs> <laughs> I almost bumped him, and um, it was a uh, it was Denver Comic Con before it got real popular. Yeah, that was his character's name. Yeah, I almost bumped into him. I guess he was uh, making his way to his booth, and uh, like he was coming up from uh, where there. I guess it's like the secret paths where they could take without having to come across too many fans and of course i was like near the entrance way of where that was and i was kind of just walking by i was looking at someone else i think i was looking at a cosplayer that was there at the time that i knew and right when i turned around almost like slammed into him <laughs> it's like oh shit that would have been that good <laughs> Bumped into Ted Ramy. God, who else did I almost like? Had a run-in accident. There was a couple of them. Usually, usually in conventions, if they're transitioning from one place to another, you'll have a tendency to like almost accidentally bump into a celebrity, and it's like kind of don't want that to happen. You don't want to be the guy that. It was like, oh yeah, I knocked so and so on their ass, and I almost got kicked out of the convention. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one thing you don't want to be known for at a convention. It's like, oh yeah, it's the guy that keeps bumping into celebrities. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't a hostile area. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so we're in Essex right now. Isn't there like a TV show right now? Like it started like almost a decade ago to say like something of Essex. And it's about these like almost almost people that you were or kind of like people from the UK that remind you of uh you know people from uh Jersey Shore, but they're they're from the UK instead. And I think they're from Essex though. It's like the white trash of the UK. Hopefully I can get to this last synchronization in this area without activating the uh, main mission, but we will find out. It's my horse. Uh, let me guess, my horse isn't gonna fast travel. Oh, no, wait, it did. Just took me two whistles to do it. Mm -hmm. That was about 800 paces. That, oh, 900 actually. Yeah, I think after playing this over almost two weeks straight now. I've I've come to uh, conditions that I'm all, I'm pretty much ready to beat this game, but this game will not allow me to beat this in another sitting or two because that is not how the game is paced. <sighs> I 
Oh yeah, has it been like your, kind of like your first comic convention in a way? I know I know you've been to anime conventions. I don't know what other conventions you've been in. But uh yeah, comic conventions compared to like stuff like anime conventions can be quite different, at least when it comes to the atmosphere, people that attend it. Yeah, definitely different. I think of I think I've only been to comic, well, like, when it comes to conventions like that, I've only, I think I've only been to, like, comic conventions. No, oh, excuse me. Oh, shit, it's, a, it's a bad area. Let's make sure there's no, uh, bad dudes here. Oh, I know this storyline. So I kind of know what I'm going to be needing to do here. If I climb high enough, they'll never see me. Let's make sure there's no dudes up here. Thinking about other conventions, though, I don't know what other conventions I would ever really go to. I can't really think of it. And if there are, like, straight-up video game conventions, like, they strictly focus on video games, I might do that one day. <laughs> I know, like, PAX, BlizzCon, and all that technically are that. But it's like, eh, I don't want to go to BlizzCon ever anymore. Because Blizzard's not the same. Uh, there's no reason to go to a BlizzCon. Even though back then I really always wanted to go to a BlizzCon, but not anymore. That's not the case. Looks like BlizzCon's out of the picture forever now. Kind of like E3. E3, when it was open to the public, always wanted to go. But uh, E3 doesn't exist anymore. BlizzCon's just not an option. So where the fuck do I go for video game conventions? <laughs> I, I guess PAX? Yeah. TwitchCon, hell no, I'll probably never go. Um, because it's, it's not about the video games, it's about the communities or, you know, other popular streamers. I don't know. I don't know, if, if there's ever a convention you guys ever recommend anyone going to, like... Shoot me the deets and uh, try and figure it out. Oh, there's a, there's a collectible right there. I was about to say, I'm, I'm hearing something here. I have a feeling I need to go to that main building. It seems Element Beerson has made this ruin his longhouse. So I think eventually at some point in time during the story arc, this is not going to be a hostile area. Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerson. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Lord. Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the elderman of this shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Bestrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Yeah, if you guys notice that um, anytime I start a playthrough, I usually try and start with a freshly shaven face. As you guys have noticed, my beard is starting to grow. Fine, no 
And um, it's gotten to the point now to where you can tell how long this playthrough has been so far. <laughs> the longer the playthrough, the longer my beard's going to get. That's usually my standing. You gods will come at one cry from me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor, for I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. Alright, let's round up a Saxon. Just to find him in the middle of the woods though. That's gotta be fun. It's like, uh, once again, it kind of feels like a fetch quest. Virtue, Even the saints were tired of waiting for a beer stand to hang up his bow. About 700 pieces that way. Hmm. Gotta make sure wherever I'm dropping to that uh, we don't bump into guards. Stop being sneaky. Hmm. There is some armor and all that here that I could possibly loot one day. <gasps> uh, guards abound. I uh, try not to get that guard's attention. It's like how you step in a puddle in this game and you just get soaking wet. It's like, that's not realistic. Kinda like breaks the immersion. It's like you step in a puddle and you get soaked. It's like, eh. Ramp, I'm playing the game. <laughs> Was not here. Okay, so he's gonna be up there somewhere. Take my stupid cloak off. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this guy is hunting and frolicking. Kind of reminds me of the king from uh, from season one of Game of Thrones, where all he likes to do is hunt and fuck. <laughs> and drink. Never liked his kingly affairs. That's the thing, though. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be at that big tree. Yeah, there are. There, there have been plenty of leaders way in the past in all countries One that. Is a fine sport. But I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. Did not like being no high up there. Camp this bloody. All right, we need to investigate. They were attacked by a beast, something strong enough to kill a horse. Bear. A wolf. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. Hmm, maybe bear. They were caught off guard as they supped. 
Are these guys all dead? The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can mm. only hope that Beeston still lives. Let's find out. Uh, I have a feeling the beast went that way. Hmm. Cast about this land, my friend. To that opening over there. Oh, there he is. Beeson, ready your weapon or accept Ooh. your fate as a feast. Multiple bears. Do not let them what a fine weapon to hunt bears. Spears like perfect. Survive this ambush without you. This must be our. I have my gratitude to stumble upon Dude. me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. <laughs> when do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A cell sword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once. And we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fight. Take my own horse. It's good I came when I did. We lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in oh, yeah, true This guy's love lovesick. I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well crafted bow. I need to cloak myself here. Ah, oh, shit. A crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about your Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. That's good. Mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most... Hey, Mega. Minds, coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and 